For a fugitive from international justice, it was quite a welcome. Flowers, handshakes and kisses. <laughs> The Mongolian military was out in force, but not to arrest the alleged war criminal, greeting Vladimir Putin with a marching band and full honour guard instead. If the Russian leader was worried, he wasn't showing it, and for good reason. This was his first visit to a member country of the International Criminal Court. But Mongolia wouldn't dare provoke such a powerful neighbour. Putin was flaunting his impunity, while his military was carrying out more atrocities in Ukraine. One of the worst series of air attacks since the war began. In Zaporizhia, yet another civilian building hit by Putin's missiles overnight, killing a mother and her eight-year-old boy. Another civilian killed in a city nearby. Then today, more than 40 killed by ballistic missiles here at a military academy in the city of Poltava. Ukraine restrictions mean we can't show the extent of the damage, but it was the worst single loss of life in the war this year. The war, though, is going both ways. Almost a month since Ukrainian forces invaded and seized an enclave of Russia. Ukraine's president told Sky's US partners NBC Television that that operation is not over yet. We don't need the Russian territory. Our operation is aimed to restore our territorial integrity. We capture Russian troops to replace them with the Ukrainian. We tell them, you know, we need our military soldiers in exchange with the Russian ones. The same attitude is to uh, the territories. We don't need their land. For his part, Vladimir Putin seems undaunted, defying international efforts to stop him, and now finding more allies willing to help him. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News.